This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV. I'm at CES 2011 at the Master Image booth. I'm joined by Roy Taylor, Executive Vice President for Master Image. Welcome to the program, Roy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, this is obviously a very uh, exciting show for Master Image. Maybe you could tell us what you what what Master Image does, and uh, we'll move on from there. Absolutely. So, Master Image is a leader in glassless or glasses-free stereoscopic 3D. Now, when we're talking about auto stereoscopic, we mean glasses free. Are there specific markets that Master Image is looking at for this? Yeah, very much. We're looking at the smartphones and uh, tablets. Now, that seems to be a, a big trend here. We're starting to see several uh, companies coming out with auto stereo for, for mobile, mobile phones. What, how, how, do you, how does this auto stereo technology work? Maybe we could lift a unit here. Yep. So, so uh, if, can, can we? That? Yeah. That's fine. So maybe you could explain how the display works, that we're able to see it without, without the need for glasses. Absolutely. In fact, uh, any of the viewers can uh, do this for themselves very simply. If you uh, hold your finger up and close your left eye and then your right eye, you'll see that your finger appears to move. Of course, it hasn't moved. What we do is we effectively blank off the screen, um, and we do it so fast that it produces the same effect. So it's faster than the human eye can detect, but it creates the same 3D effect. We do that by applying a, a, a layer above the, uh, the, the TFT or the LCD screen, and then we uh, charge a chemical that's between two pieces of glass, and this has this effect of actually doing the same blanking. That's how it works. Now, uh, is this called a, a barrier technology? Is that yes. It's uh, known as parallax barrier. And the thing that Mars uh, Image has, which is unique, is we invented what's called a cell-based parallax barrier. Previously, it was a uh, oh, it's okay. Okay. Previously, it was uh, achieved by. Um, I, hang on, a second, it's distracting me like crazy. There we go. Sorry. It was achieved uh, by what's called a striped effect. So the, the blanking was uh, in stripes. What we've done is instead of doing stripes, it's do cells. Each cell is smaller than a pixel, so we get much better granularity, much better accuracy, and we don't get any of the uh, the ugliness that used to happen with a stripe technique. So is it a smoother look for the for the 3D image? Yes, it's brighter because we're occluding or blocking off less of the screen. So it's much brighter, much crisper, and uh, much much nicer. And it's also got uh, lower latency for gaming. Okay, I have to mention them by name. Nintendo 3DS. They've had a lot of press exposure around their upcoming portable gaming system. Glasses free. The press has been all over it. Uh, is there a bigger market beyond Nintendo 3DS, and how do you see Master Image fitting into that? Absolutely, it's a bigger market. Any uh, smartphone device or tablet using our stereoscopic will become a gaming device, and we're very excited about that. We're working closely with NVIDIA, for example, uh, with their Tegra 2 chip, which is an excellent platform for mobile gaming, and uh, their driver will enable a very, very large amount of 3D content to automatically work on uh, smartphones and tablets. And I think it's going to also be some great interoperability opportunities, which means that you'll be able to have multiplayer games between smartphones and tablet users at the same time. Okay, let's let's rewind a bit. So you mentioned an NVIDIA driver working with Master Image, or at least uh, auto stereo mobile phones. I know in the PC world, like NVIDIA GeForce 3D Vision, and there's other companies as well, that they have stereoscopic 3D drivers that let you take existing games off the shelf and play them in stereoscopic 3D. Are, are we looking at something similar for the mobile market? Uh, absolutely. In fact, it's, uh, we'll work, uh, it's exactly the same way. So what NVIDIA does with their driver is they intercept a 3D call, and then they interpolate that into stereo. They've been doing that already on the desktop side of things, and now they're going to do it with their Tegra as well. That's not the only way of doing it, however. It's also possible to uh, use what's called a quad buffer effect, where you take the uh, rendering output and you put it into top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right, and that produces the same stereo effect. So you won't only get this with NVIDIA, although NVIDIA is going to be very good. So this is actually this is a very big ramification because I, you know content is king as they say, and you know granted there's a you know even in the for the full 3D HD TVs there's only a handful of 3D Blu-rays available. Are we looking at, at, at gaming as a as a, a major content source for mobile 3D? And no question, absolutely. I mean the new generation of smartphones and tablets have HDMI out, so it's going to be possible to connect your smartphone or your tablet to your uh, TVs in HDMI out and continue to enjoy 3D there too. And what about, uh, I, I don't know if you've sampled the technology yet personally, one of the challenges uh, in the PC gaming world is to have enough performance to back the display up. 
in the mobile world, I think this is a kind of a first round where you're going to need a lot of performance to make it possible to render left and right views in stereoscopic 3D on a smartphone or, or a PDA. Is there enough performance out there to, to back this technology up? Uh, absolutely no question. And um, if any of your viewers haven't seen it, I would encourage you to take a look at NVIDIA's Tegra 2. It's a quad-core device with a GPU on, on the chip itself. And uh, there's buckets of performance there. And I think uh, they've got some very exciting things coming forward in the roadmap, as does Qualcomm and also Text Instruments. Do you have a, a time frame in mind as to when this technology will be available? Oh, ab absolutely. I think that towards the holiday of this year, you're going to have stereoscopic smartphones together with Tegra and powerful processors of their ilk, which will mean you'll have great stereoscopic gaming this Christmas. Wow, that's an end on mobile. And, on mobile, yes. And, and without glasses, and, and yes. it's going to be glassless free, stereoscopic 3D gaming this Christmas. Now, what about. Um, not so much the choice of games, but is there like a, a, a back end that the games require? Like, do they have to be designed in a specific language like Linux or Droid? Like, what, what format do the games have to support to work with the NVIDIA solution? Uh, no, NVIDIA right now, I think, is focused on Android, but these games will be available across everything. So uh, we're going to be, we're also working with uh, other vendors too, chipset vendors, and we're also working with the other uh, non-Android platforms uh, to bring stereoscopic game into um, all of your viewers. Okay, excellent. Now, one more question, just so I understand how Master Image fits into all this. As, as I understand it, Master Image is a is a panel maker, right? So you you work with as an OEM. Like, how does this Master Image product get connected with the the cell phone manufacturers? Uh, that's a great question. So what we do is we uh, manufacture the the layer that produces this on and off effect I was talking about earlier. We supply that layer to any TFT manufacturer. So we work with all of the world's leading manufacturers to supply that layer. They then add it and then uh, uh, pass it on to the OEM, so it'll end up in smartphones and tablets. Excellent. Well, thanks, Roy. It's been fantastic speaking with you. Uh, you. You're enjoying the CES show so far, I take it? Yeah, I am absolutely loving it. The reaction to the technology has been way better than we ever could have dreamed of. Excellent. And just oh, one more thing, just before we go, uh, what's what's on exhibit here at your display as far as gaming content is concerned? Oh, yes. Yeah. So we're very pleased. In fact, uh, kudos and big thanks to uh, the Crytek guys who uh, got to us uh, the latest build of Crytek 2. So we're able to run that here. And so we're super excited about that. So now, Crisis 2, is it running in like a, like a trailer form or is it is it actual mobile game? Uh, what can you tell us about the content? Yeah, so all we have here is a trailer, um, but uh, come back and see us soon and we'll show you the real thing. In mobile form? In mobile form. Amazing, amazing. We've been sp speaking with Roy Taylor, uh, Executive Vice President, Master Image. We'll be back with more from CES 2011. Thanks for watching. Thank you.